My name is Rick Renner, and it's amazing what we do to film interesting stand-ups for you. Today, I'm with a flock of sheep, and believe it or not, this is near our home in Moscow, Russia. All of these sheep are just a few miles from where we live, and I have my Bible, and I have my shepherd staffs, because today I'm beginning a brand new series called the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is My Shepherd. And in the 23rd Psalm, verse 1, David writes, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. These sheep are well fed by their shepherd. He makes sure they have everything they need, and that's what Jesus does for you and that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. This program is made possible by the giving of the God Called Partners of Renner Ministries. Stay tuned for a teaching you can trust, a message that will inspire, strengthen, and equip you with vital insights and understanding from the Word of God. Here is Rick. Welcome to today's program. My name is Rick Renner, and I've been waiting for you. And I want to say thank you for letting me come right into your space. Today, we're beginning a brand new series about the 23rd Psalm. Everybody loves the 23rd Psalm, but you're going to love it a lot more after you hear this 10-part series. And I want you to order the whole series, which is called Psalm 23rd. The Lord is my shepherd. Aren't you grateful that the Lord is our shepherd? He really is our shepherd. This series is just going to be powerful, and I want you to get it and really listen to it. And it comes with a study guide. I'm so thankful for my team that helps me put together all my study guides. These study guides are just filled with all the points, the principles, all the important parts of the teaching, it's in the study guide so that while you hear it or see it, you can also read it. And really it's amazing what happens when you read, while you look or while you listen, it really puts the teaching down deep inside you. And today is the first day that we're offering this series. So I want you to order yours now and you can order it by going to renner.org or you can give us a call right now. And today only we're offering you for free a book by my friend, Tony Cook. The name of the book is Because the Lord is My Shepherd. The subtitle says, The Blessings of an Empowered Life. This book may look small, but this book is power packed. And my friend, today only, I want to give it to you as a gift from our ministry. Unlikely. The subtitle says, Our Faith-Filled Journey to the Ends of the Earth. The back of the book says, If you're ready to read a true life story that will stir your faith to launch out and experience your own unlikely adventure, this is the book for you to read. And it's filled with so many wonderful photographs. It is a riveting story. It is a true life story that will really stir your faith. And beginning today, until October, we're offering it on our website every day at a radical discount. So order yours today. But I want you to reach for your Bible. We always use the Bible in this program. And today we're going to the 23rd Psalm. And I want to read the entire Psalm. Beginning in Psalm 23, verse 1, the Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Verse 2, He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Verse 3, He restoreth my soul. Aren't you grateful that He restores our souls? He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name sake. Verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. What does that mean? Thy rod and thy staff. You're going to find out. Verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me, even in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Verse 6, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is the 23rd Psalm. And in these verses, we find 10 promises of God to me and to you. What are they? Number one, God's supernatural provision. Number two, God's supernatural protection. Number three, God's supernatural peace. It belongs to you. 
Number four, God's supernatural restoration. Number five, God's supernatural guidance. Number six, God's supernatural confidence that he gives to us. Number seven, God's supernatural correction. We need his correction. Number eight, God's supernatural prosperity. Number nine, God's supernatural anointing. And number 10, God's supernatural promise. All 10 of these are promised and guaranteed to us in the 23rd Psalm. But in Psalm 23, verse 1, David begins by saying, The Lord is my shepherd. And here David uses the metaphor of a shepherd because David had spent a lot of time as a young man among sheep. He had been a shepherd and he understood what it meant to be a shepherd. And here he uses this metaphor to describe the Lord in all of our lives. And notice he doesn't say the Lord is their shepherd or the Lord is our shepherd. He personalizes this by saying the Lord is my shepherd. And my friend, I want to tell you, the Lord is your shepherd. And you should just say, the Lord is my shepherd. Well, when you study the scripture, you find there are several metaphors used to describe the Lord in our life. For example, he is called a king. He is called a judge. He is our deliverer. But in this text, David calls him our shepherd. So we have to ask, what do shepherds do? A shepherd is a leader of sheep and so is a pastor. A shepherd takes care of and tends to the needs of the flock. A shepherd feeds the sheep. A shepherd ensures the basic needs of every sheep are met. A shepherd protects the sheep from wolves, and the shepherd leads and guides the sheep where he wants them to go. So in essence, we see that a shepherd protects, a shepherd provides, a shepherd provides and guides, and does so many marvelous things for us. Actually, 10 promises in this text. And this is exactly how David says God cares for us. And my friend, I want you to know that God knows your coming and God knows your goings. He knows when you rise up. He knows when you sit down. He knows every hair on your head or how many hairs you no longer have on your head in my case. He knows when we get lost, when we go astray, he is a shepherd and he is familiar with every one of us and with everything that's going on in our lives. But listen, listen, if the Lord is our shepherd, that means we are sheep. We're sheep. Well, what do we know about sheep? And I'm going to give you 11 things that we know about sheep. Number one, sheep can be very slow to learn. Any shepherd could give you countless stories about how sheep have run into barbed wire fences or fallen into a ditch trying to cross a ravine. And the next day they run into the same barbed wire fence. And the next day they run into the same ravine day after day after day, because sheep can be very slow to learn. And the Bible says we are sheep. Number two, sheep can be stinky and unattractive. In that stand up before the program today, those sheep were stinky and they were unattractive. I know that we love little photos of beautiful white sheep, but sheep for most of the time are stinky and very unattractive. And that describes us. Are you ever stinky and unattractive? Number three, sheep are demanding. From the moment they are born, they are demanding to be fed by their mother. They have an insatiable demand to be fed that never ends. They demand grass, 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 and more grass. They want grass day and night. And in the winter, when the field is covered, they're demanding to be fed by their shepherd. And when a shepherd shows up with food, they are so demanding, they nearly stampede their shepherd. Number four, sheep are stubborn. I don't know if you've ever tried to move a sheep but those sheep can probably move you easier than you can move a sheep. It's kind of like trying to move an elephant. If you've ever tried to lead a sheep, you know they can be very, very stubborn. Number five, sheep are strong. They can nearly knock you flat. In fact, when I was filming that stand-up and sitting on that chair, among all those sheep, there was one sheep that nearly knocked me off of my chair because it was so strong. When you look at their skinny arms and legs, you think they're going to be very easy to handle. And then all of a sudden, bam, you're knocked flat on your back. 
because of a sheep that has come against you that is very strong. And remember, they also use their heads to ram. And the Bible says, we are like sheep. Number six, sheep tend to go astray and to get lost. Even the Bible tells us this. In Isaiah 53, verse six, it says, all we like sheep are gone astray. In Luke 15, verse 4, Jesus gives the parable of the shepherd who lost one sheep. And it says, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? Sheep have a tendency to go astray and to get lost along the way. And the Bible says we are like Sheep. Number seven, sheep are unpredictable. You might think you know where they're going, but boom, they surprise you as they all turn and go in another direction. That's because sheep are very unpredictable. Number eight, sheep tend to follow the crowd. It was hilarious when we filmed that stand up at the beginning of the program today because all the sheep followed one another. If one leading sheep went in one direction, they all went in that direction, even though none of them knew where that sheep was going. They tend to follow the crowd. One man has said, when one sheep decides to start running, they all decide to start running. If you were able to ask one of the sheep, why did you start running? It would say, well, because he started running. The next would say the same, and the next one would say the same. And finally, you would get to a sheep who would say, I don't know, everybody was running, so I decided to start running. And this tendency to follow the crowd can even be fatal. For example, recently in Turkey, there were 400 sheep who were killed in one event because one sheep decided it would try to cross a 100-foot ravine. It fell into the ditch and died and 399 sheep followed it without thinking because sheep have a tendency to follow the crowd. Number nine, sheep are restless. They are so restless, they will roam clear into the middle of the night looking for food. They're just restless creatures. And likewise, God's people tend to be rather restless. Number 10, sheep are completely dependent upon a shepherd. Most animals can cope and can survive by themselves out in the wild, but not sheep. Sheep cannot survive without the care of a shepherd. They are totally dependent upon a shepherd. And likewise, we are sheep and the Lord is our shepherd. We depend upon him and we cannot survive without his tender care in our life. And number 11, sheep are are the same everywhere. In the course of my ministry, I've been all over the world. And as I've traveled many times, I have seen flocks of sheep and I love sheep. So in Central Asia, I walked out among the flocks of sheep. In Turkey, I was out among the flocks of sheep in Russia, in America. And it doesn't matter whether you go, whether you're in America or Russia or Israel or Central Asia or Turkey, it doesn't matter. Sheep are exactly the same everywhere you go. They have the same traits, the same behaviors, the same characteristics. Sheep are sheep. And the Bible says we are sheep and the Lord is our shepherd. And again, David personalized this by saying the Lord is my shepherd. And my friend, I want you to know he's not just our shepherd. He's my shepherd. He is your shepherd. You should just say the Lord is my shepherd shepherd. And his job is to take care of you. And now I want us to see promise number one that he makes to his sheep in the 23rd Psalm. And it's in verse one. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You should just say that I shall not want. And here God declares he's going to take care of your needs. Amen. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus made it clear that God will provide for all the physical needs we will ever face in life, and we do not need to worry about it. That's because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But Jesus specifically said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, and remember, Jesus is the good shepherd. This is the shepherd speaking to us. Listen to what Jesus says. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, 
What you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body or what you'll put on, is not life more than meat and the body more than raiment. Verse 26, behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Verse 27, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? Verse 28, and why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spend. Verse 29, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Verse 30, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Verse 31, wherefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? Verse 32, for after all these things do the Gentiles who do not know God seek after that your heavenly Father knows you have need of all these things. Verse 33, that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And all of that agrees with Psalm 23, verse 1, where David declared, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You may be worried about money. You may be worried about how you're going to pay your bills. But my friends, you shall not want because the Lord is your shepherd. This is the Bible's declaration to me and to you. And in this statement, God promises we will not lack anything. David wrote this in Psalm Chapter 37, verse 25, speaking about his life and everything he had seen in life, he said, I've been young and now I'm old, yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Wow, that is an amazing verse. Or how about Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 7 in the New Living Translation? It's powerful. Moses is describing God's provision for his people in the wilderness. Listen to what Moses said. The Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He's watched your every step through this great wilderness. During these 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have lacked nothing. That is amazing. Then in Psalm 84, verse 11, David makes this promise. For the Lord God is a sun and shield the Lord will give grace and glory. And listen to this. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. My friends, he is my shepherd. He is your shepherd. And what a comfort it is to know that God loves us. God cares for us. And God promises, he promises to provide for us. One little girl was trying to quote the 23rd Psalm, and she misquoted it, but she misquoted it in a great way. Rather than say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. She said, the Lord is my shepherd, that's all I want. Well, she really said it right, because if the Lord is your shepherd, you have everything you need. In Psalm 103, verse 2, David says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits which means if the Lord is your shepherd and you're one of his sheep, there are benefits promised to you. Then in verse three, he says, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Do you believe that? Of course you believe that. But in verse three, he also says, who healeth all thy diseases. Do you believe that he wants to heal all your diseases? Of course you believe that. In verse four, he says, who redeems my life from destruction. I know that you believe that who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. I know you believe that. But then when you get to verse five, he writes, who satisfies my mouth with good things, good things. It's talking about material blessings and provision in life. God wants to satisfy our mouth with good things. And that is why David was able to declare the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. And David used this metaphor of a shepherd because he had been a shepherd earlier in his life and he knew that a good shepherd always provides for the needs of the flock. When you come to Philippians 
chapter 4, verse 19, there's even a special verse about provision made to givers. And if you're a giver, you can claim this verse. Paul wrote, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But my friend, I want to give you the RIV of this verse. The RIV of Philippians 4, 19 says, but my God will supply all your needs so completely that he will eliminate all your deficiencies. He will meet all your physical and tangible needs until you're so full that you have no more capacity to hold anything else. He will supply all your needs until you're totally filled, packed full and overflowing to the point of bursting at the seams and spilling over. That is God's promise to those who give. And if you're a giver, you can claim that promise. But whether you're a giver or not, if you're a child of God, then you are in the flock of Jesus Christ and Jesus is the good shepherd. And as the good shepherd, he's going to take care of you. And that is why David declared in Psalm 23, verse one, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And my friends, Jesus loves you. He's watching over you. He wants to tend for your soul. And Jesus wants to meet your needs and be the ultimate provider in your life. I'll be back in just a moment, and I want to pray for you. The 23rd Psalm is a favorite passage of Scripture for many people and cherished by Christians all over the world. In this new 10-part series, Psalm 23, The Lord is My Shepherd, Rick Renner opens this powerful passage like you've never heard it before so you can understand all the amazing promises that God makes to you in the 23rd Psalm. The Lord really is your shepherd, and He wants to lovingly take care of you. In this 10-part series, Rick will unfold for you God's provision and protection, God's peace and restoration, God's guidance and prosperity, God's anointing and promises, and so much more. Rick Renner says, this is one of my favorite series. Anyone who loves Psalm 23 will love it more than ever after hearing this fully expounded teaching. This remarkable series is available in digital or physical formats starting at just $20. And today only, the book, Because the Lord is My Shepherd, The 12 Blessings of an Empowered Life is available as our free gift to you. Just call the number on your screen or visit renner.org. Free, today only, when you call or go online to request it. In this easy to read book, you'll learn 12 blessings that God promises you in the 23rd Psalm. And he wants you to experience them all. Get the book, Because the Lord is My Shepherd, the 12 Blessings of an Empowered Life for free today. And don't miss this powerful teaching series. Call the number on your screen now or go to renner.org to order. One book per household for U.S. mailing only. We get many calls for prayer uh, on a daily basis. Um, you know, there are people just really wanting answers today. They want hope, um, and we're here for them uh, to help them find that. Uh, we get calls for prayer just when people are struggling, going through certain situations, uh, and they may start with being very hopeless, but many times they hang up uh, full of hope, uh, full of joy, faith, and uh, just trusting in the Lord. And uh, the most rewarding part is, you know, getting the phone call the day after saying, God, you know, has come through and answered their prayers. And uh, it's just super humbling and I'm grateful uh, to be working for Enter Ministries. Well, everybody who watches Rick on TV is gonna want to have a study guide every time. It's, um, first of all, a tangible memory of the material. And anybody who is desiring to learn the Bible more, which we see every day all over the world. It is easy and uh, affordable to get a study guide. And I know a lot of people just do it every single time or they download as they're watching the program for free. And so it's a, just a wonderful tool. As far as the needs of the ministry, we are bursting at the seams and growing by leaps and bounds. I foresee more, definitely more growth. And um, as far as people connecting with the Renner Ministry and the more that uh, Rick and Denise and Joel and 
Everyone gets to be um, exposed to other areas of the world and other people uh, that are connecting with the Runner Ministry. Uh, we're just, we're bursting at the seams. My friend, it is so exciting to see the lives that are being touched by the teaching of the Bible. Our ministry is exploding and we really need your help. So I'm asking you today to please pray about becoming a part of the giving team for our ministry expansion project. It has been such a pleasure to share with you today from the 23rd Psalm. But before we close, I want to remind you that right now, starting today until October 1st, we're offering our new autobiography at a radical discount in our ministry website store. You can order it online right now or give us a call. It is amazing. If you're ready for a riveting story of faith to encourage you to launch out into your own story of faith, you need to order this book, which is called Unlikely, Our Faith-Filled Journey to the Ends of the Earth. And today we're also offering you our series called Psalm 23rd, The Lord is My Shepherd, and it comes with a study guide. The two of these together are so powerful, so please order yours today. Today's program is just the beginning of this marvelous series that is jam-packed with revelation about the Lord being our shepherd and the 10 promises that are made to us in the 23rd Psalm. And today only for free, I want to give you our book called Because the Lord is My Shepherd. It's written by my friend, Tony Cook. The subtitle says, The Blessings of an empowered life. This book may look small, but it is really powerful. So please give us a call or go online to get your free copy today. But Father, I thank you that Jesus really is my shepherd. Just say that, friend. The Lord is my shepherd. Personalize it. And he is caring for you. Lord, you say that you will make sure we have no want in our life. And Lord, I ask you to open the windows of heaven to pour out your blessing into my life and into the life of my friend to meet our needs. In Jesus' powerful name, amen. We'll be back tomorrow and we're going to pick up right here to see the next promise in the 23rd Psalm. But remember Ecclesiastes 8.4, it says, where the word of a king is, there's power. So let God's word work in your life today. And I'll see you in the next program. Renner Ministries is proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ through every available media to the uttermost parts of the earth. Discover the many ways you can help us make a difference in lives around the world with the Word of God. We invite you to partner with us in teaching, strengthening, and rescuing lives for the glory of God. Together, we can make a difference that will last throughout eternity. This program was made possible by the giving of the God-called partners of Renner Ministries.